Hello everyone, welcome to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Alright, we got the, we got the Only Glenn episodes. I know you've been waiting for them, here they are. Alright, so, if, if you see there's like one save file here. So, I've actually tried to do this two or three, this is the third take. I tried streaming it a couple weeks ago, it didn't work. The bandwidth was going nuts, and there were all kinds of issues, and cutscenes were lagging really hard. So I was like, okay. Um, a couple days later, I was like, okay, I guess I'll just try to um, record them now as episodes, and they'll just be a little bit longer of episodes. And that didn't really work either. Um, my capture, my laptop were being really weird. And I lost a bunch of the footing. Oh, footage, not the footing. My footing was okay. I didn't fall down during it, but, um, this is pretty much the third time I've been doing the same thing. I feel like I've played it a bunch now. Um, I'm sure you've heard me talk about this game before. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, probably the single player game that I've played the most, I would say. I'm trying to think... Yeah, I'm looking at my games right now, and I don't think any of the other ones get close. Maybe some sports games, but no, it's, I played through this game multiple times, so played it a ton. Um, so yeah, this is Fire Emblem. If you don't know what it is, I think I'm gonna mostly explain like what's going on in the first few episodes, like what the process is, like how the game works, basic strategies and stuff like that. Um, we'll see. Because I'm sure some of you know exactly what it is. You've played these type of games and some not nearly as much. Um, I've talked about this every time. This game is gorgeous for the... I believe it came out in 07 on the Wii. I, I just... I think it looks spectacular for how old it is. Also, I'm going to be... We're going to watch cutscenes like this. Um, for the most part, you guys really get the story, because I think the story is really good in this game. Right now, as you can see, you're just kind of... We got two rebels here, trying to evade some Imperial Guards. Phantom? My cat, my cat was meowing. Or one of my cats. He's, he's the loud one. The young loud one. But, um... Also, these episodes are going to be longer. Um... Just the nature of this game it takes a bit longer I don't want to do like four turns and then have, have that be the end of the episode so um if you like if you really like our general 10 to 15 that sometimes stretches to almost 20 these are probably gonna be longer than that just so you know um I guess sorry if that's not your thing but you can always watch them in segments you know stuff like that So we got Edward. You're talking about someone. Something must have happened to him. I'm not going to go through all the dialogue. I'm going to kind of try to summarize it pretty well. Um, we'll see how that works. Because there's a lot of dialogue at parts in this game. And it would just kind of drag on and take forever if I didn't. Don't worry, he'll be here. Oh, why don't you use your Farsight? So she has some kind of magic called Farsight. This is Micaiah. That's not how it works. She foresees things, but doesn't get to choose what she sees. He is just teasing. Someone's late. Oh, someone needs help. Also, very good in this game, the music. I wonder if I have to... I might bump the game audio a little bit, because it looks... Anyway, bandits attacking the town. Where's the occupation army? So this area is being occupied by another area's army. The Benyan soldiers. So the Benyan soldiers are occupying it. They don't care. They don't care about the citizens of this place because it's not their, not their citizens that they have to protect. When we're in the Dawn Brigade. Just talking about how we're only children, and we're gonna go fight these bandits. 
here's the prologue. Listen up, you louts. This town is nothing but idiots and drooling graybeards. Steal everything you can. And she's telling her, Yune is her little bird. If you didn't notice in the original cutscene. So, there she goes. Alright. Now we're gonna mess up some fools. Um, another thing that I mentioned the other two times of recording was... I'm playing with the Wii Remote. Because this game is for Wii. I'm playing it on the Wii U. But it's for the Wii originally. Because it's pretty much all backwards compatible with Wii and Wii U. Um... But when I played it on the Wii, I used the GameCube controller, because back in the day you could just plug it in, and for most games, if you didn't need the motion controls, it would work. Um, but since I'm playing on the Wii U, I can't do the GameCube controller, so I'm using the Wii Remote, so it's a, it's a little weird for me. So I mess some stuff up, like moving stuff up wise, or inspecting someone, or anything like that, then... I'm sorry, uh, that's why. You never play it like this. But yeah, that's about how the combat works in this game. Um, that's pretty much all this game is. Um, just that kind of combat. But obviously, as you go along, it gets way more complicated. You have more people on your team, you have more people to take out. So, you have a sword fighter here, he's called a Myrmidon. Um, good old Edward. And then Micaiah is a mage. She's a light mage, so just obviously she uses light magic. Um, oh, and also I'm going to. Uh, here we go. Uh, options. We're going to do map only for attack animations because it. It cuts off a lot of time, so you're going to see the difference in the animation right here. And obviously, um, you got your HP in the top, you got Might, that's how much damage they're going to do. The hit, the chance that they're going to hit. And then Critical is the probability that they um, execute a critical hit, which does three times damage. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Alright, Tiny Mist, sweet. So yeah, generally it's what you want to do in this game. Keep keep your uh, mages and archers and whatnot out of out of harm's way and send up your frontline units to actually engage them. Uh, I do have a vulnerary. Um, then one of the most important things, like one of the most useful things is here you can check um, the range on people. How far they can go to hit you. Move up to this little choke point. And then attack this guy over the cart. Most things like carts, barrels, um, any kind of stuff like that, you can um, attack over and through if you're a ranged unit. But, um. I picked a normal. I think I picked normal. That's besides the point. Um, I'm going to restart it fourth time. That would be annoying. Oh, here's Leonardo. He found out from Yune. Alright, so now I have a third unit. Leonardo, as you can see, he's an archer. That'll happen a lot in this game. Um, you get reinforcements sometimes. More, Most of the time, it's just the enemies get some reinforcements. Um, usually it's not your player units, but it can happen. Push him off with my Kai again. And let's just end it. Down to four. I'm trying to think if I was in the middle saying something. But yeah, in terms of like high octane stuff, this game is not that. Like it's not a bunch of chaos and me like yelling and all that stuff. It's much more of a chill, um, like strategy driven kind of game. So, let me know uh, if you guys like this kind of thing. I would love to play like through this whole thing even. I'd be totally down with that. Um, obviously, if people don't like it at all, I won't. 
But, um, yeah, let, let me know. Now Edward's getting real low on health. So, first off, we're gonna let we never get on the action here. Oops. She zoomed out. Oh, I zoom back in. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna use her ability called Sacrifice. Wah! Takes away her HP and gives it to him. Or, yeah, her HP. Oh, and the, also this, you see, um, to the right of Edward's name, there's a red arrow pointed downwards. That means that his, uh, what do they call it? His biorhythm is bad right now. So his ability to hit people and everything like that, like all, like his stats and everything, are going to be down. And if it's going, his is as well. If it's going, yeah, see, his is starting to go up, so his, is, his will be a little bit better. Um... That's another feature of this game. Pretty unique. I, I like it. It can get annoying sometimes, but it's also a it's also a good um, a good way to make the game more interesting. I think. But that's just me. I'm gonna take this guy out, and we're down to one. This is also gonna be. This is also going to be a game where I, there will be a couple times when like, I'm not talking as much. I'll be kind of in thought for a little bit. So, just know that it'll be one of those. And, um, if you're wondering when me and Nick are, uh, oof. When me and Nick are getting the band back together and we're going to do episodes together again, that's coming up very soon. Because the vacation's just about done. Um, so in a few days we should be able to start um, recording stuff once again. Excited for that. Um, having all the guests was fun. I think most of them... They're just talking about stealing is bad. And this should take him out. Perfect. I lost my train of thought again. Oh okay, yeah, having having all the guests was nice. Um, I I had a good time. Hope you guys did. Just about all those like are coming out. Um, there might be one or one or maybe two other people, but for the most part, we should be getting back to. There will be a couple solo ones for me, and then we'll be getting back to me and Nick uh, once again. School the school year is gonna be back in session in a couple weeks, and then we'll be right back to our. Uh, usual schedule. We gotta run. His name's Nico. Alright, let's get out of here. Remember that, the kid's name is Nico. Oh, we got, this dude looks important. Who you yelling at? General Jared. Or Gerard. Yeah, that would be Gerard. Answer my question, maggot. We suspected they were from the Don Brigade. They want to stop them. Because they don't like the Don Brigade, obviously, because they're opposing them. But, and then, um, streaming will be back to a more, like, consistent thing. It'll be just be me and Nick most times. Uh. Ooh, he. Oh, he doesn't like the job they're doing. Dang. So. Probably be Fridays again. We'll get back to something like that. We'll see once our schedules, um, once our schedules start to get solidified and we start to get into school year a little bit. We'll see. Um, we'll try to get more into like the consistent rhythm that we had. Okay, am I normal? Good. Can't play hard because they haven't we haven't cleared a save on this because we're on the Wii U and the Wii U doesn't have any of the save data from the Wii. So. so the continent is called Tellius. Um, we're in the nation Dayan. That's where everyone here is from. And where we're going to be for a little bit. Then you got Crimea, Benyon. As you can see, Benyon is huge. And Dayan is now like part of Benyon. They kind of got assimilated. 
because uh, Dan started a war with Crimea years ago and they lost. So, but the occupation forces of Benyan are really, they're really shitty and they're really uh, abusive and everything for Dan. So they're in really bad shape. That's why the Don Brigade is uh, opposing them, which is us for a while. If we end up getting as far, then uh, it will be something else. Powers. Everyone calls it the Silver Haired Maiden. But yeah, I, if these go over pretty well, um, I'll probably just do them with Nick then. We shall see. Or it might be a thing that, like, if if um, it comes up again where it's just me, like, just him doing some episodes because we can't get together and need to make deadlines, um, I could possibly go back to this. Of course, that all goes. That's all based on how you guys like this. How should we how should we explain yesterday to Soth and Nolan? We didn't have a choice, we were just helping people out. Um, it's unfortunate that they got spotted by soldiers because now they're gonna be now they're gonna be cracking down on stuff. So yeah, they're talking about. They're talking about basically what the prompt just explained and what I kind of summed up. They we lost the war, so got taken over. Now they're telling about they're running with the bandits. They were just trying to help. He's warning her about her gift, because she has a, even in a world like this, her uh, sacrifice, which I used on Edward, is very unusual. No one else has that. So now we're in a, a random alley. This way's no good either. Binyan soldiers have every alleyway blocked. A kitten couldn't even sneak past them. So this is the least guarded path. And we're getting surrounded, so we gotta go. South is not with us right now. But now we got Nolan. So now we have four people. <laughs> it does a little, like, help you out there with your strategy. So if you see an open door like this, you can often go talk to the people inside. And sometimes they'll give you stuff. She's giving us something because she likes our eyes. She knows that we're trying to do good. So I got a vulnerary there, and then vulnerary's, um, they heal up to 20 health. Uh, herbs heal up to 10 health. So that's what you use if you're getting low on HP and you don't have like a healer or whatnot. Just move up with everyone else. The brigade's coming. Sweet. They're mercenaries. They want to capture us and deliver us for money. Oof. Nolan's freaking strong. And you might be you might be thinking, wow, he's like way better than all of them. Yeah, the most of the time your characters are meant to be a bit better than the enemy, but there's way more of the enemy. So that's that's how it kind of balances out. Yeah, these first, these first few levels should go pretty quick for me, seeing as I've played them a bunch of times, and I'm pretty good at them. Um, and you might be saying to yourself, oh, should you have, like, Nick play it, because never, he never has when he gets back. You don't really want someone who hasn't played this before playing it, because it's going to be a lot of, like, sitting around and, like, reading and, like, checking what stuff does and all that. Me, I basically just have to like plan out my my moves that I make. So, 
I think this works a lot better. Um, and no one move up here and chill. And then Edward can finish up. You always want to try to evenly distribute your XP so people don't get left behind. But after a while, you have to you have to kind of choose um, between your people, like who you're going to use and who you're not. I'm obviously not at that point yet, but that's something to think about. Right. Got another house. He wants us to take, take my axe. I guess I should say, and my axe. I want to be accurate. For all the Lord, Lord of the Rings fans up there. Oh. Yeah, now they're starting to get more kinds of classes. Like you got soldiers here, or they got an archer. As well as fighters and all that good stuff. Get him, Leonardo. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, I think that I think that was most of the stuff that I wanted to mention. Just talking about like what's going on when we're getting like back with the two of us. Um. Also, you're going to, I may mention this in another video too, but, um, we're going to, you're going to get another kind of video from me that, that's, uh, different. It's going to be kind of like a theory video. Um, something where, like, I just talk about, talk about something. I'm not going to say what it is right now, but, um, yeah, it's a good, I'll probably just have, like, random gameplay in the background, but you won't have to look at it at all. You won't have to, you could just listen to the video if you wanted to. So, I'm excited for that. I'm filming that right after I'm done filming these few episodes. So, look forward to that. I'm interested to see... Interested to see how people like that. I don't think these guys are going to move off. If I remember correctly from before. Yeah, they're not going to move. Alright, this dude's got a steel sword. This dude's got a hand axe. He got a pretty low chance to hit me, so I'm gonna go after him. Sweet. And then Kaya or Leo should be able to finish him off. Yep, she can. He can. Maybe Zero. Alright, let's see how I match up with him. Now he could, you can see, that's, that's a bit more even, because he's the boss and he has advantage over me. So I'm just, I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna sit. And then I'm gonna start to whittle him down. Step aside. Nothing can do. Or no can do. Basically is what he's saying. Alright, now he's gonna attack. Ow. Haha. Uh. See, they got reinforcements, but our objective here is escaping 10 turns, so we're just getting out of dodge. Um, who to finish him? Oops. How did I do that? There we go. Um, maybe Leo. Edward's gonna leave. Yeah, it's too late now. Not in my prime. He was in his prime. Now he's dead. That wasn't a very good level up. <laughs> he's gonna escape. Now once she escapes, that's just, it all ends. But I think you get bonus XP for um, having everyone escape. So I'm gonna wait. Now. He'll escape. And she'll escape. Alright. That is two levels down. Everyone, this way. More good music here.
Aha, good work. You can see the market. They're gonna try to... Oh, hey, it's Nico. What's up? Yeah, they're after us again. Are you and your friends all right? Yeah, we'll be fine. Moldy onions, where'd they go? Wow. Grandfather says, leave the soldiers to us. All right, so they're gonna cover for us. We're getting out of here. There they go. They're blocking the path. She has a premonition. Yep, she's got one for visions. We're going back. No, no. Shots fired, shots fired. Oh, Nico. Shot. You savages. <laughs> don't be, don't point your fingers at us. We're just doing our job. Shooting a kid. Nope. We're back. We're doing our thing. Aww. Doing we're performing sacrifice. It, it's a miracle. Sacrifice. She must be the silver haired maiden. Yup. We're getting out of here. <laughs> and we're out of here. No. They're still not letting them go by. Oh. 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 Dang. You are your soldiers under my command. You will follow my orders promptly and without hesitation. Understood, vermin? So as you can see, uh, Jared, or Gerard, not a very nice guy. I think, I think it's Gerard. Because Jared is spelled with, it's either spelled um, J-A-R-E-D or J-E-R-O-D. And that's, that has an A and an O. So I'm, assume, I'm assuming it's Gerard. They're leaving Nevesa, which is the the capital, because people are, they're getting too close to capturing us. The situation is pretty rough, so. Alright, so we've cleared the prologue in chapter one. Chapter two, Dispossessed. Alright, uh, that's, once we uh, get to this little cutscene, we're going to end it here. They're going to Kiska. Oh, another night sleeping on the cold ground with nothing but bugs to keep us warm. Oh, it's not that bad. The forest is so beautiful. As you can see by all these trees that are as tall as us for some reason. <laughs> I never really like looked at it that way, but now that now that I've seen that, it's gonna screw with me. Uh, all right. So this is Laura. Are you people heading to town by any chance? Why? Yes. Yes, we are. Probably shouldn't tell like every person we meet on the street that we're the Dawn Brigade. It was because everyone's if everyone's looking for us. You know the layout of the manor. That was a few years ago. Oh. That's convenient. There's a large armory in the back of it. And that's where they'll be keeping medicine too. So we we're basically we're getting medicine. I probably went through that too fast to read, but um we're getting medicine for Laura. She's like a she's like a priest in training. And her abbot, like the head priest dude, is is ill and we need medicine for her. 
or medicine for him. And uh, we gotta break in and steal some from the Benyan soldiers. Alright, so here we go. We got ledges and stuff now. Now we're getting into it. And but we're gonna we're gonna go more into it next time. And uh, please let me know if you like this at all. If you hate it. If so, like what do you like about it? What don't you? Anything like that. And I will uh, see you in the next episode. The Fire Emblem.